What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $1,400 third stimulus check update and fourth stimulus check update. As I have all sorts of different information for you guys on the upcoming stimulus package, the $15 an hour minimum wage, which is still actually trying to be passed. Democrats are still trying to figure out how to do that, which would provide a raise for tens of millions of Americans, as well as an update on the third stimulus check. The third stimulus check payments that are wrong. Uh, people are getting less than they're supposed to get. We're going to have an update for you on Direct Express, SSI, SSDI, and more. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on updates. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's jump right in. According to a new poll, 80% of Americans think the federal minimum wage is too low. As you can see here in these wages by state, there's about 20 states that are at the federal minimum wage level. This is these very light blue colors. Uh, $7.25 is the minimum wage in uh, all of these light blue colors. Uh, the largest state here, I believe, is Texas. And all sorts of uh, eastern and southern states here are at $7.25. There is eight states that are at $15 an hour minimum wage or higher, but um, the vast majority or all of those states, I believe, are going to be getting to $15 an hour uh, within the next five to six years. For example, Florida is at $8.65 right now, as you can see here on this graph, but they actually recently passed a bill to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. However, it doesn't get there until 2026. So uh, minimum wage is going up across the country, but the federal minimum wage, which is still about 40% of the United States, all these light blue states, is still being worked on. The Democrats are still trying to find a way to pass this at $15 an hour. In fact, here is Democratic Senior Representative Ro Khanna on the $15 an hour minimum wage and how they're trying to battle on that and work towards that. And this is actually coming from a Republican news station. So uh, he's kind of getting grilled a little bit because obviously he's a Democrat. So uh, here we go. So let's talk about $15 minimum wage. Do you worry that there's an impact on small business forcing them to pay up for minimum wage? I do, and that's why we need to make sure that there are tax credits for small business. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, they have the proper assistance. But the issue, uh, Maria, is that the wage of $7.25 is just not one that people can survive on and target Amazon, Walmart, they can pay $15, and they ought to pay that $15, not just in California, but all across the country. I guess one argument is that you can't have one level of a minimum wage as a brushstroke across the country, right? I mean, the living uh, costs are very different uh, from New York and, you know, Ohio or Wisconsin. So can you really come up with one number for minimum wage that is supposed to address all different income levels, all different cost of living across the country? And is 15 too high if you're trying to come up with one number? Yeah, I hear uh, the argument. I think the second point is the more concerning one. I mean, we've had one number since 1938. And, and so we do believe there should be a national floor. Now, the debate is how high should that floor be? In my view, uh, $15 is reasonable. That if you have $15, especially for big corporations, even people like Josh Hawley have said big corporations can pay $15. Now, there is a concern if you're a small business, if you have 10 employees, 15 employees. That's why it should be gradual, and there needs to be special assistance for those small businesses with that higher cost. What, what about the $10 minimum wage that Republican senators have unveiled to counter the $15? Would you look at that as perhaps coming in the middle and a solution? You're up from seven and a quarter, but not 15. Do you think anything of that $10 idea? It's better than $7.25, but I don't think it's high enough, especially when you look at the fact that the wage hasn't been increased for over 10 years and probably is not going to be increased again. It's very hard to raise these things. I appreciate the proposal. First of all, it's not even clear that there's 60 votes for a proposal like that. I'm not opposed to dialogue. I do believe $15 is the right floor, and I think that it will ultimately improve productivity, improve retention of happier employees, and create a better uh, nation. 
Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think the minimum wage should be raised? 80% of people do, according to the new poll. Do you think it should be raised to $10 an hour or should it be raised to $15 an hour? Either way, this would be a phase up. This would likely happen. The previous proposal, the Raise the Wage Act of 2021 is really the uh, best kind of guidance to go by how this would probably work. As you can see here, uh, it would go up by about a dollar to two dollars an hour per year, depending on the year. It would go up instantly by two dollars and twenty-five cents in the first year. So if they were to pass this bill with this uh, framework here, it'd be nine fifty as soon as they pass the bill, and would then go up by a dollar fifty, a dollar to a dollar fifty an hour per year after that first year, and get to fifteen dollars an hour by twenty twenty-five. This would also make youth wages, fourteen C wages, and tipped wages. Uh, most notably restaurant servers that are currently at $2.13. All three of those categories would get to $15 an hour minimum wage also by 2026 or 2027. So I actually used to be a restaurant server many, many years ago, back when I was about 18, uh, was one of my jobs. I had a first job at, at age 14. I worked for many, many years until I finally became an entrepreneur and started working on my own businesses and that was its own struggle. It's definitely very hard to do. But uh, I, I earned two dollars and thirteen cents back then. I think it's still been that way for over a decade. I mean, we're talking like two decades now at this point. Um, I don't know the last time they raised that, but yeah, two dollars and thirteen cents is what restaurant servers make, and they're expected to make the rest on tips. So it'll be interesting to see if they start to make fifteen dollars an hour in the near future, if tipping will remain the same or if it might get changed as a different structure in the future. The IRS has come out with new guidance on several different pieces of stimulus that we're waiting on that have already been passed and uh, future things. I'm going to keep you up to date on all these different stimulus packages and the fourth stimulus check package coming out, as well as the minimum wage, Social Security raise of $200 per month, student loan forgiveness. One of the things we've been waiting for is guidance on the $10,200 unemployment bonus kind of that was added in in the third stimulus check package. This basically retroactively goes back to 2020 that any unemployment income that you or your spouse or your family member had, the first $10,200 of unemployment income or unemployment bonus income, any type of unemployment income will be tax free. This will likely mean uh, an extra one to two thousand dollars in your pocket as a tax refund or an extra stimulus check, however you want to look at it. It was passed in the third stimulus check package. I believe the average person, based on a, a somewhat lower tax rate, is going to receive an extra one thousand uh, dollars if they had ten thousand dollars of unemployment income last year. Well, the IRS just kind of updated us on that, and here you go. The IRS says the ten thousand two hundred dollar unemployment tax. That the IRS plans to, plans to is the key word here, automatically process these refunds. As you can see here, the IRS plans to automatically process refunds for taxpayers who had gotten unemployment income in 2020 and filed their tax returns before legislative legislation passed that made those benefits tax free. The American Rescue Plan, the third stimulus check package, which was signed into law by President Joe Biden on March 11th. God, it really doesn't seem that long ago, but that's literally only eight days ago. It's 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 actually kind of crazy how quickly they've sent out the money compared to last times around. Of course, I know there's a lot of people unhappy that they haven't got their check yet, but other people have. We'll we'll get to that here in a second. But really, it seems like an eternity ago that this package was passed, but I guess it's only been eight days or nine days. So this package made $10,200 of unemployment income tax-free for people with adjusted gross income of less than $150,000. The break is $20,400 for two workers, married couples filing jointly. However, um, an individual can only claim $10,200. So if you have a couple, you can claim $10,200 each, but one person can't claim more than $10,200. I went over that in a previous video, just give you that kind of cliff note there. But by the time the law is passed in the middle of tax season right now, some people who received unemployment benefits last year in 2020 have already filed and paid taxes on those benefits. The IRS is working on a fix that means most people in that situation, keyword most people and that they're still working on this, in this situation will not have to take any extra steps such as sending in an amended tax return. 
to recoup the taxes they paid, but don't owe per the new rule. The IRS commissioner says, do not file an amended tax return at this time. We believe that we will be able to handle this on our own our own, we believe that we will be able to automatically issue refunds associated with the $10,200. So I will keep you up to date on this as this story unfolds, when we can expect the extra checks for anybody on unemployment, which is tens of millions of people last year. And also, uh, so when we're going to expect that check, if this actually happens the way they think it's going to happen, I'll keep you up to date on all that, as well as I think that in one of the future stimulus packages, maybe the next one, the uh, fourth stimulus package, we're calling it, the Build Back Better package, which is mostly fo focused on infrastructure and building jobs, repairing roads, stuff like that. But we'll have multiple different stimulus provisions in there. We already have dozens of Senate Democrats and House Democrats pushing to include not only one stimulus check in there, but multiple stimulus checks. And we also could see other things included in there, such as student loan forgiveness, the $200 per month social security increase, uh, the $15,000 home buyer credit, mortgage assistance and rental assistance, all sorts of things could be in that package or will come through uh, standalone bills and executive orders. But I expect in the future that we will see a $10,200 uh, unemployment tax credit for 2021, which is this year. Remember, that's just for last year. They actually did it retroactive back to 2020. One of the things we could see in the near future in one of these upcoming packages or a standalone bill is another $10,200 credit for unemployment income for 2021. So I'll keep you up to date on that as well. Apparently, TurboTax and H&R Block and other similar software companies that handle tax returns are just as behind as the IRS is. As TurboTax and H&R Block said, they need more time to account for the $10,200 unemployment tax break. And I got more about the stimulus checks here too in a second. Online tax preparers like TurboTax and H&R Block need more time to account for this new tax break. As a result, taxpayers should wait to file a tax return and claim the unemployment exclusion, experts are saying. Not only that, but TurboTax and H&R Block customers say that they have sent stimulus checks to the wrong accounts again. This is the same problem that we've seen TurboTax, H&R Block, and even Jackson Hewitt have happened from the second stimulus check. And that caused uh, major delays for many, many people. Most people ended up getting their stimulus check some people had to claim it on their tax returns, but uh, it looks like the exact same problem has happened again, at least for some people that uh, use TurboTax, H&R Block, Jackson Hewitt, and other similar online softwares. So yeah, basically everybody is behind trying to deal with the new changes and also the old changes and tax return. The IRS is extremely behind. They have 24 million tax returns uh, that they haven't even processed yet as more come in per day. And they're also trying to figure out the $3,000 to $3,600 child income tax credit that uh, you guys will be getting if you have children of $250 to $300 per month for a child. And uh, yeah, the, everybody's behind right now, including the checks for uh, anybody on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, SSA, uh, <laughs> veterans benefits and uh, railroad, everybody under the Social Security umbrella. Direct Express says that the IRS is issuing economic impact payments, also known as stimulus payments, to eligible recipients over the next few weeks. For the most current, uh, let me go back here, for eligible recipients over the next few weeks. This is the key word here that everybody is upset about, and I hear you. Um, but yeah, basically, if you call Direct Express or if you call the IRS or you call your Social Security if you have a phone number and um, or if you see this message directly from Direct Express here. It's basically the same message uh, on the phone or for everybody, and that is that basically the checks will be processed over the next few weeks. And they say, uh, for the most current information, go to the IRS Get My Payment tool, as you guys probably know already. So um, honestly, I personally think that this is basically just a catch-all phrase. I um, Just from following this stuff, they have not really sent out the stimulus checks for or the direct deposits, whether the direct deposit goes to your bank or if it goes to the direct express card. From what I see, 99% of people on Social Security benefits, SSI, SSDI, all the Social Securities, they just haven't sent the checks out yet. Okay, 
It's nothing you did. It's nothing you delayed. It's it's not a problem. Basically, if you're on Social Security, they just haven't sent the checks out yet. And they have this message that they're going to be out in the next few weeks. It's really just kind of a default phrase that I personally think. Um, because honestly, they just haven't been sent out yet. I, I kind of feel like we're going to get more information. Or when they send it out, they're going to be like, all right, we sent it out today. So hopefully that happens today or within the next 24 to 48 hours. I'll be keeping you up to date on all this as soon as I see new information. Please comment down below if you have got your stimulus check today, if you got it yesterday, if you're on Social Security, if you got it, if you didn't get it, if you're on Direct Express card, if you got it, what bank you're with. Don't put your banking information or uh, personal information. And there's a lot of scams going on right now. I, I get an imposter, it's Jimmy, almost every single day, and they just... They make a new account, they name themselves It's Jimmy, and they steal my profile picture, and they comment down below, uh, contact me on WhatsApp for investment advice and Bitcoin trading and blah, blah, blah. It's a scam, okay? If you see, contact me on WhatsApp anywhere in the comments, it's a scam, okay? So just disregard it. Literally, I block those people every single day. As soon as I see them, I block them, uh, you know, and they really just happen every single day. They just create a new account. So uh, it's not me. The way you'll know it's me in the comments is um, you'll see a check mark by my name. Uh, you'll see if I ever pin a comment down below, it'll always say it's Jimmy and it has a check mark um, because I'm verified by YouTube. You get verified by having 100,000 subscribers or more. So uh, mostly I heart comments. I like comments because really I get about 10,000 plus comments every single day. So uh, I try to answer your questions in videos because uh, when I see the most common questions, you see, I see them. I heart your comments and stuff like that. But um, I, I just can't reply back to 10,000 comments. It's just physically impossible. So I take the most common questions and I respond to you guys via video so that I can address tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people uh, in a short form. Because it's just literally, imagine replying to 10,000 comments. You would just admit, <laughs> you'd be there 24 hours a day without sleeping. So I try to address all your common questions, all the issues going on, all the upcoming stimulus stuff coming out uh, in my videos. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below uh, in the comments and I'll try to address um, all the most common ones in upcoming videos. Remember to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. All it does is it makes it so YouTube's more likely to show you the videos so you don't miss them. Remember, uh, new videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After subscribing, click the bell icon that appears after you subscribe to all notifications to get notifications for the first three videos of the day you won't get one for the 11 p.m eastern time you just have to show up on that and also there's a share button down below share this video with your friends and family so that they know about when the stimulus delays are going to be gone when the next stimulus package is coming out the student loan forgiveness ssi increases um, all the different packages, mortgage assistance and rental assistance that we talk about. There's been a lot of news lately, and I'll keep you up to date on everything. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA. I have dozens of students that have replaced their 9 to 5 income selling products on Amazon, and I teach them how to do that. And me and my wife have a business selling products on Amazon. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.